Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Tattoo Tarot Goddess and I am going to do a reading for you. Um, you've been having some dreams lately and those dreams are trying to guide you in a specific direction. Now, not all of us can remember our dreams because I know that when... I dream, I normally don't remember them unless, I don't know, I just normally don't remember my dreams, so you might be one of those people that really don't remember their dreams. Um, these dreams are about a soulmate that you have met 355 on the clock that might be important to you um these dreams are about a soulmate that you have met and right now the soulmate really isn't up to par, may I say. Uh, the soulmate isn't isn't doing isn't following their soul's path, may I say. They're more worried about partying, drinking, and all that stuff right now. Um, I see this soulmate. They're going to come back around. But the only reason why they're going to come back around to you is for sex. So, just be aware of that. Because... It's not on the up and up, and it's not. It's not what you're going to be told by the soulmate. It's just for sex. That's it. So, when the soulmate comes back around. Just know, just be prepared, you know, whatever they tell you, just know that that's what it's about. Um, I see you've been hanging out with your family and your friends and you've actually been, you've actually been confiding in a friend about the situation. I don't want to say you've confided in too many friends about the situation. I want to say you've confided in one specific friend about the situation. Um, you are being asked to have faith in this situation. But just know that when the soulmate comes around, it's not going to be on the up and up. You know what I'm saying? I feel that they're going to tell you what you want to hear versus the truth. Um... Your angels are helping you in this situation. And you've been doing a lot of thinking about this situation with this person. Like, because of the fact you're not sure. Like, you know you have feelings for this person. 
but you also know that you're you're like you're feeling that this person isn't on the up and up like you already know this you already know this that this person isn't on the up and up Um, you are working on your chakras though right now. Yeah, you are, uh, working on your chakras and everything else. And you have been working on letting this, uh, soulmate go. You're slowly but surely letting the soulmate go. Like, you're, you're slowly doing it you're not just you're not talking to them you're not communicating with them you're not trying to but I feel because you had su such deep emotions for this person instead of up and just saying whatever you're slowly doing it Um, you have been taking a lot of time right now to really rest and get your energy back because this person was an energy vampire. No matter if they was your soulmate or not, they was an energy vampire because when that person left, did you notice how drained you was? Like your energy was completely depleted. And it took you a while to get your energy back. Like you had to rest and everything else to build your energy back up. Because this person isn't following their soul's path. Is making them an energy vampire. So, that's what's sucking your energy from you is this person. But they are going to come back around and they are going to try to tempt you. You've been really fighting with yourself about this. Like, you've been really fighting with yourself about this. And it's because of the emotions and the feelings you feel for this person. But you, you know, until they get right, that there's no point of you even trying to be with this person because of the simple fact you know that all they're going to do is lie to you and lead you on and treat you the way that you don't deserve to be treated. So, you know, you've been going back and forth in your mind about this situation a lot, like a lot, a lot. You've also had a lot of patience here. A lot of patience in this situation with this person like I want to say that you actually waited on them a while but you know in your heart, what's the point of waiting? If they did me like this one time, who's to say they're not going to do it again? I think that this person really don't care about the connection.
I think that they're out doing their own thing. They're out sleeping with whoever and, you know, they're just doing whatever. And it's like they run back to you when they get bored. You have been working on um, your spirituality, though. Um, the soulmate that you have been thinking about, um, they're more, okay, the soulmate you've been thinking about, they're more money-based. They're more materialistic. Yeah, you like to have nice things. You like money, but that's not all you think about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're guided by your heart, by what you love. This person isn't. And I think you guys are learning a lot of lessons from each other right now during this. Like, because this person is so in the 3D realm where they're money-based, uh, worried about money, 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 and materialistic shit. You're more, you, you more go from your heart and what you feel and what you love and you're more, I want to say you more go by your feelings and if something don't feel right to you, you can't do it. No matter how much you love this person, or no matter how much you feel for them, if something feels off about them, you can't do it. And I think this person, you know, came around a lot <coughs> to... For the sex. Or was wanting sex. I don't know if you guys had sex or not, but... Maybe it, it was... They was wanting like a friends with benefits type of relationship with you and it didn't get that far or something. Okay, they are, they are with somebody else, and it's because of money. It's not because of love. And they do think about you. You're feeling kind of guarded right now, though. Like you've put up walls between you and this person. And it's all because of the fact that they have hurt you.
Yeah, you, uh, you're working on your chakras right now. You're working on your spirituality. And you've really just been going back and forth to work. You, you're, you've you not made a decision yet about this person. And it's because you know what you deserve. And, and you feel like that if you open up and you say yes to this person, then... You're saying yes to somebody that don't respect you. Then you're saying yes to somebody that don't care. Then you're saying yes to somebody that's going to continue to do the things that they did to you in the past. So you're really not you're really not sure as to which way to go in the situation like it hurts you because you know that you love this person but it also hurts you to walk away from them yeah this person could even have a family This person could have a family, an actual family family. Yeah, I think this person could have a family. And they lied to you about it. Like they they legit lied to you about the whole situation. So you have been um, letting go though. Slowly, like really slow, you've been letting this go. And it's because it hurts you so deeply. And that's why you've been slowly but surely letting go. Um, try to pay attention to your dreams, though. Like, if you're um, still having dreams, try to remember them and try to write them down. Because they could be something important in these dreams that uh, you're being shown. But, um, you have a really pure heart. And the love you give is pure. You know, you don't expect, I want to say, you don't, uh, you don't love somebody for what they can give you. You don't love somebody for what they can do for you. You actually love them because you love them. Not because of anything materialistic or money-wise or anything like that. You actually have a pure heart. Um, this person could be watching you also to see what you've been up to. Yeah. 
Yeah, you've, um, you're also, you've been standing in your power on this, and <clears throat> you know, I want to say, you know that you're not going to take less than what you deserve anymore. Um, you have also been really thankful in this situation for the lessons that you have learned, though. You've had a lot of growth through this process with this person. Like, you've learned a lot of lessons here. Um... Either you or your soulmate is having some resistance. And it could be you for the simple fact that you've been really hurt here. So, you know, if the universe wants you and this person to be together, it's going to take you some time to really heal and get over what happened between you guys. You and this person, though, you guys have a deep attraction for each other. Like, you guys are really attracted to each other. You have set up boundaries also in this case, and it's all due to this person. Like, you realized what you deserve and what you don't deserve to be treated like. I feel that the universe is trying to bring you and this person back together, but they're, they know that you're going to need um, time to heal or, or you're going to have to get out of your head and go with your heart and not your mind. Yeah, you've been... Uh, having a lot of self-love for yourself right now and putting yourself first. You could have a new beginning with this person, um, but in a way, you're not ready. And it's all because this person, whatever this person did, it really hurts you to your core. You are on your soul's path, though. You could be seeing um, number patterns. You could be seeing... A lot of things because you are on your soul's path. <laughs> but I'm going to pull a romance angel for you and I'm going to see what they say about the situation with you guys.
you know you deserve love. You know the way you deserve to be treated. And this person, they're just off lollygagging. And they do whatever the hell they want, whenever they want. Yeah, unrequited love. That's the situation you could have been in. But because you guys started a new cycle, um, things could change. You know what I'm saying? True love. And it says express your love. Honeymoon, give your relationship a chance and make the effort. So this could have been a situation where you was giving more love to this person than they was you, but now because you guys have started a new cycle, maybe this person has woken up to the fact that you are their true love. Um, you could have a, uh, a Pisces moon sign. You could not be a Pisces, but you could be like a Pisces moon or Pisces rising. Yeah, retreat and calling in your soulmate. So that's what you've been doing. <clears throat> but, alright Pisces, that's your reading. Actually, I'm going to pull one of these cards for you right here. And see what they say. And then... We will be all set. Oh, both of them came out. Centering and celebration. So... Let's get one more, one more card out for Pisces. So, because this is a new cycle you guys are in, it could...